everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Sin and Sacrifice Rival here and okay last time out we defended the Caprica homeworld Caprica City we survived the Galactica was left behind um, we now have what remains of uh, Caprica home fleet over there um, it's not a full fleet because we took away the uh, the Aurora to basically reinforce Daedalus fleet. Now we have to kind of defend the system while civilians zip through. It's it's weird. They're going for Scorpia basically, and then we're gonna take Daedalus to the Ragnar, which we know it ends up there because that's where we next see it in uh, Battlestar Galactica mini-series from the New Interpretation. Um, because they go to Ragnar Anchorage, which is what Daedalus becomes to resupply. Which means it's kind of poetic. And the thing that brought the Battle Stars into fruition, or the Jupiter class at least, um, is still there. It's that old faithful uh, space station is still there, ready to resupply the Galactica in its moment of need. I like that. But anyway, let's do this. I haven't got a drink with me and I'm really <laughs> feeling that right now. <laughs> This is mission 10. I guess mission 11 is going to be get your butt to Ragnar Anchorage. It's also weird that Clothis is actually there on board the Daedalus helping. Okay, so here you go. That's the Aurora. I've already done all the Uh, repairs and everything, so. We should be okay. I'll stick to torpedoes and I've got the two nukes on the Minerva. Do it. Clock just hit 20 minutes. Still no colonial transponders or Cylon marks in the LZ. The coordinates to Scorpia are ready. They better not turn anyone around after this. Scorpion Border Control have promised they'll process all Alpha refugee ships fairly. It's the best we can offer them right now. Make sure any civilians that hit the LZ are spooling immediately after they land. This plan only works if we can minimize their exposure. Yeah. All right, well, let's um, slam the brakes on our fleet. We don't want them. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On it, Commander. And while we're at it, we'll launch everything. Launching alert, Vipers. Yes, sir. Understood. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, this just feels wrong. Understood. Yes, Commander. Just sat here waiting. This feels so wrong. So wrong. New colonial transponders. They have the full evac plan and are spooling their drive. If every ship scatters like this, we're going to struggle to cover them all. Yep. How long should we expect before Cylon forces arrive? They will not be far behind. Although we are not part of Lachesis's mandate, we are the largest threat to it. What is its purpose? Why is it doing this? Settlement. The colonization of God's land for the Cylon people. Will it stop at just Helios Alpha? That is unlikely. Yeah. All the more reason to regroup at Ragnar as soon as we can. All right, we'll send. All right, we've got a bunch of ships, so. You go there. Yes, sir. On it, Commander. Okay, so we're sending Vipers to protect the transports. There we go. They're here. Hostiles on the board. All marked Cylon. Protect the civilian ships. We don't leave until every transport is clear or every Cylon is dead. That's the plan. Yes, sir. On it, Commander. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, you just go straight for drop. So say we all. Yes, sir. Um. Yes, sir. I don't think for a second this is all that's going to be out there. Go. 
Understood. On it, Commander. Right, you don't need to defend then. Select target. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Missiles on their way. Okay. Go. Another wave of hostile contacts on Dratus. This is bad. Understood. Yes, Commander. Understood. Trouble. Bogey in my kill slot. Fighter squadron is taking fire. I don't care where we go, jump us now. So, select target. Go. Nice. Okay, uh, go for that then.
Yes, sir. Understood. So say we all. Cancel. If they fire, they fire, but I'm going to take them out with the nukes. IFF confirms unit is hostile. On your mark, Captain. Turkey right. Missiles incoming! Submitting. Yes, sir. Black, left side, boom. Yes, Commander. Got an Argos over there, damn it. Yes, Commander. Understood. Yes, sir. Go. Civilian ship is taking damage. Firing solution is online. Squadron has gone dark. Damn it. Yes, sir. Squadron target is confirmed. Go. I'm inbound on your star. 
The wraps is down. Damn it. You're attacking that raider squadron. No, you're not. Defend that freighter. Two. Select target. I don't care if you're going after the Atlas, to be honest with you. Understood. On it, Commander. Ship is taking damage. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. On it, Commander. think, yeah, colonial ship's gone, it's just a freighter, so, select target. Should take out some of those missiles. Transports. Understood.
cool. We're actually doing stuff over there. Um, which means you can just come towards the Daedalus. So say we all. On it, Commander. Yes, Commander. Go. I need black reload. Civilian ship is taking damage. Squadron dying. War drivers dying. You're fine, so you can select fire and defend. Understood. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Civilian ship is taking damage. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Intercepting. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Yeah, On it, Commander. Four. No, you stay with doing what you're doing. Um, you're going after that. Fine. Select targets. Yes, sir. Think we might actually be okay on this one. Escort clear zone intact. Priority one. Safe. Missiles incoming. There's one reason you're firing to that side.
reloading. Not today, Kim Kat. That's Nick. All civilian ships have jumped. We are the last ones here. Prepare the fleet for jump. If Lachesis wants to give chase, we'll drag it right through Ragnar's oh, clouds. Wow. Jumping in 12, 11, 10. This is where the galactic jumps I'm sorry in. about your sister, Lieutenant. We couldn't have stayed at Caprica, or else we'd have lost everyone. She's a fighter, sir. On the toughest Battlestar ever built. She'll be... She'll make it. Three, two, two one. one. Jumping fleet. All right, we just hold for one more turn. So, yeah. Fortunately, we left all our vipers behind, but you know. No combat landings. Kind of sucks. You know, even this Atlas did well. But that early bit where he's just waiting and waiting and waiting. Get same back. I can't wait this long. Try not to fly through your battle stars. Oh, for crying out loud. Damn Viper pilots. Oh. Just basically, you get your the ships that jump in as close to you as possible, as quickly as possible. Oh. 200,000 people we just saved. Ah! Open back. And it was a base game. star. It was a base star. One little tiny ship. So annoying. Bogey in my kill flag! Fuck, I'm winged! I don't care where we go, jump us now! Kind of annoying we lost our raptors as well. Escort so. priority one, still online. But hey. Drive spool, on your mark, Captain. Turkey right four, lower six, I'm committing. Firing solution is online! Did. Mark's incoming on priority one. I'm inbound on your starboard, seven high nine. I must admit, these last couple of battles have been really... Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. Just fire going everywhere. Solution updated. Target Missiles acquisition flying maintained. all over the place and everything. It's been a lot of fun to kind of target keep it all straight ahead. By nine nine. And accepting hits. Escort clear zone is active. Assist, toaster. Like on the Atlas, just accepting the hit from the Atlas. Because you know that if you, if you do, it's not being shot at some other ship that you really can't take it. Secondary battery, full attack mode. Fire at will. Intercepting. Escort clear zone intact. Priority one is in safe hands. Reloading. Not today, you can. Jumped out. Dealt with. 
poor Vipers being left behind like that. Damn. So there's only one mission left. At Ragnar. The Cylons have always avoided us when we're anchored at Ragnar. I assumed it had to do with the storm clouds interference. Feels like a flimsy excuse to hide behind now. We'll hold here and regroup for as long as we can. Hopefully, we'll draw Cylon forces away from Helios Alpha and give the colonies there an opportunity to form some measure of resistance. We should find Galactica and force a fight closer to the H2 colonies. We still have allies who want to help. We could double our fleet at Scorpia alone. No. The colonies have a year to make this better. We can't risk the little peace they have. They betrayed you. They left us to die over Toron. We don't owe them. We don't have to play nice for them. We do owe them, Lieutenant. We failed in our mission. No, I failed in my mission. You and the Commander did everything possible to bring this war to an end. The failure rests on my shoulders alone. I don't think any of us could have done differently. We're programmed to expect a fair fight. Even against overwhelming odds, we're still colonial fleet. To the end, Admiral. So say we all. So say we all. Okay, the Asylons have previously been reluctant to interfere with colonial fleet operations at Ragnar due to electromagnetic fields produced by the ionized storm clouds. Whether they will continue to hold back Lattice's forces is known, unknown. Right. So, next time, I don't know, it is the last mission, because it's mission 11, and <laughs> I feel like I want to bring everything back in, <laughs> not that it makes a difference, um, yeah. it doesn't, it really doesn't, I could go for a full Battlestar fleet. No, Jupiter. I could go for three Jupiter class. Which would leave us Not much. It wouldn't leave as much, but it would be three Jupiters, at the very least. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it up to you guys what you would like. Would you like a fleet with as many Jupiter class battle stars as we can fit? And a smattering of those ships. Or what? I'll leave it up to you. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share if you're new to the channel like we saw. Please do consider subscribing. This DLC is the end of Season 1. Um... Both Black Lab and Slither in the games have said this is the end of season one, so I'm assuming there's gonna be a season two. If there is, you know where you're gonna be able to find it. Because I'm gonna play it as soon as it comes out, assuming it does. To that end, I would like to know what you guys think will be in season two. Because season two. I mean, this is the first couple of years of war. At least I think it is. Um, but what do you think would be in season two until next time you lot take care of yourselves i'll see you there bye bye